Someone asked me to graph this equation x plus 4y equals 12. So how would I do that? Well, you could use slope intercept form to do it. You'd need to rearrange it so you have y by itself and then mx plus b. That would work. Probably what I would do is a table of values here. I think that might be a little quicker here. So I'll just put values in for x or y and then figure out what we have. So I could say x is 0 here. If x is 0, then in 4y equals 12, divide both by 4. So that's 1, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So y, that would be 3. That's our first point. And I chose 0 because I want whole numbers, and I want a point that's going to be that works and fits on our graph paper here. Let's do another. How about we put 0 in for y? Because if we have 0y, then x equals 12. That would be off our graph paper here. So maybe we don't do that. Let's say x is 4. Because if x is 4, we have 4 plus 4y equals 12. Subtract 4 from both sides. 4 minus 4 is 0, so we have 4y equals 8. Divide both of these by 4. That way, 4 over 4 is 1, and then we have 8 over 4 is 2. So x is 4, y is 2. That'll fit nicely. One more. How about we say x is 8? If x is 8, 8 plus 4y equals 12. Subtract 8 from both sides. So this gives us 0, so 4y equals 12 minus 8 is 4. Let's get y by itself. Divide both sides by 4. This is 1, so y equals 4 over 4. y equals 1. So these are the points that we're going to graph for x plus 4, y equals 12. So we go x is 0, y is 3. That's our first point. x is 4, y is 2, right there. And then x is 8 and y is 1. You can see they all line up. So let's put a line through that. We'll put arrows to show that it goes to infinity, and that is the graph for x plus 4y equals 12 using a table of values. You could have used slope-intercept form. You'd get the same line. And remember, these numbers here I made up, then we figured out what y was, and we wanted the points to be whole numbers and then to fit on the graph paper. So that's why I chose these. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.